Hi, I'm Dan Hegstead, the author of Next Steps, Tools for Transforming from Coping to Thriving. Carl Jung laid the foundation for Next Steps when he said, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Now, I want to be happy. I want everyone to be happy, too. I want you to be happy. And I've been helping people lead happy, healthy, peaceful lives for nearly 30 years. Well, I've been trying anyway. I've been a student and teacher of Tai Chi and Qigong for almost 30 years, and I have a presentation called Taming the Stress Monster. It's good stuff, but what I've found is that almost everybody says it's good, but I don't think many people take what I teach and put it into practice. People come to class because they want to change, something hurts, stress has infected them. They come for change, but then they leave when they begin to change. Therapists and doctors will say the same thing. Why, when we can choose to change, do we fight it with all the energy we can muster? Well, I think I figured it out. It's pretty simple and pretty complicated. We're afraid. It's fear. Who should read or listen to Next Steps? It's not for everybody. As I was writing, I envisioned people who've been through the fires of life. Through the fires. Addiction, abuse, relationship issues, physical health, mental health issues, a dark night of the soul. They've been through that. And, you know, maybe it wasn't so much a fire, it was a smoldering mess. But now that has been tamped down. It's no longer dominating their life. And the fire's out and they're ready to move on, to take the next steps. Well, what's next? Uh, this isn't for people at a crossroads or in the fire. This is for folks who have chosen a path but are unsure of what's next. If you're looking for a fluffy self-help book, this isn't it. We're going to get real, and you are going to be challenged. It's simple, but it's not easy. Part 1 is an introduction on why I'm writing the book. Part 2 is called Your Thinker and Operator's Manual. Your thinker, your brain, will work just fine on its own, but if you learn how to work it and operate it, you can move from coping to thriving. Your brain keeps you alive, but its default setting is fear. It isn't logical, and many times it works against your own best interest. Once you know how it works, you can make it work for you, but you have to read the manual. I have a lot of good tools, tips, and tricks, and best practices in the next sections. And I'm going to give you homework. Put pen to paper. There is something about engaging your brain and your hand and putting thoughts on physical paper that makes it work. Thinking about it is a nice first step, but you have to do the work. If you're serious about change, this is how you do it. It will be challenging. Again, this isn't a light, fluffy, feel-good self-help book. You're going to do real challenging work. It will be difficult, but I've never known one person who has faced their fears and done the work to say it wasn't worth it. Not one, not ever. You can do this, and it is worth it. Now, I've always been a person who is interested in life's biggest questions. What is God? Why are we here? Why is there evil? What happens after we die? All of those. I've found the answers to all those questions that work for me. I am at peace and I'm no longer searching. So part six, I present my answers, my theology. Now I'm not selling anything here. These are my answers and may very well not work for you. But if you're looking for some ideas, here they are. If you find some wisdom and understanding here, good. If not, that's okay too. Take what you like and leave the rest. Part 7 is some great quotes by wise people that I found very helpful. And Part 8 
is resources and links. The quotes and links are not in the audiobook, but I've put those on my website, danhegstead.com. I invite you to read or listen to Next Steps, Tools for Transforming from Coping to Thriving. The Kindle ebook and audiobook are both available on Amazon. Thank you.